It's been a wonderful day here at the Seymour Johnson Air Force Base Open House. The crowds have been delighted by the best the military and civilian worlds of aviation have to offer. But one of the greatest elements today has been the weather. With sunny skies and a cool breeze to keep everybody from getting overheated, it's been a great day for an air show. But this isn't always the case. For the past two years, the weather has been like today. Clear, cool, and breezy, the perfect conditions for an air show. But three years ago here at the open house, it was another story. The ceilings were very low. Most of the show wasn't able to be flown. Uh, weather was moving through and in very much like we had about a week and a half ago with all the, the low clouds and rain and all that that had moved through. That was kind of weather they had on show day, which was kind of ruined a vast majority of the experience for an awful lot of people, I'm sure. A lot of performers couldn't perform. We can still get the same speeds, but we're going to extend out to the maximum uh, five mile radius that they give us tonight. But uh, we can still give a pretty good performance down low, still make the noise, do the photo passes. We just have to pretty much keep it in a race track. It takes away from the basically capable performance of the airplane for the vertical performance, which is what it's really all about. Though all pilots have to stay on the ground when the conditions are too bad, they sometimes have a choice when the weather is borderline. We've flown it as high as um, 50 knots and uh, ceilings, we like 1,500 feet minimum to be able to fly it because you're going so fast in the airplane. It's easy to go through 500 to 1,000 feet in a matter of a second or two at 600 knots. So. Um, if the winds are probably crosswinds of more than 25 knots, I wouldn't fly because getting the airplane back on the ground is a problem. Uh, weather needs to be 1,003 minimum. If it's drizzling, I don't want to fly because it fits the airplane, takes the paint right off. Depending on the height of the clouds above the ground or ceiling, airshow performers have the choice of either performing a high show in which they can pull their planes high into the air and dive at the ground to pick up speed for dazzling maneuvers, or just to show how well they can hold their planes in close formation. Or they can perform a low show, consisting mainly of horizontal passes in front of the crowd. While the low show may not have the flips and rolls of the high show, it's no less thrilling to the airshow audience. Between the rare, the unusual, and the breathtaking, this show has delighted the community of Goldsboro, North Carolina and airshow enthusiasts alike. But it wouldn't have been nearly as entertaining had the weather not cooperated so nicely. I'm Jason Alexander for UNC Asheville.